welcome back to another video of all things Apple Plus. We have a great video to show you guys today. It's going to be on the INDS emulator. Now, I have done previous videos on the INDS emulator, and what I'm currently doing with my channel is updating the playlist site where you can see which third-party enterprise application you can download these emulators from, and there is just going to be a walkthrough and a tutorial for each enterprise site. So I'm going to be working on these different emulator videos, and you might see a couple repeats while you're browsing through the different videos that I have. But first, let's go ahead and get into the matter at hand, and that is going to get the INDS emulator. First, we're going to navigate over to Tweakbox, and through Tweakbox, we're going to install and download their third-party enterprise application. Now, immediately, once you navigate over to TweakboxApp.com, you'll notice that there is a install button. Go ahead and tap on that, and it will redirect you over to the settings page where you can just go ahead and tap install hit done and if you need to go ahead and plug in your passcode if you have one it's gonna be the passcode to unlock your phone which will be the you know your normal one and then go ahead and hit done and from there it should reboot you back or redirect you back over to Safari now launching the application from our home screen we'll notice that we need to accept their privacy policy so let's go ahead and do that and then we're going to wait and see if there's an advertisement that shows up like there is one right here. We're going to go ahead and close that out on the top right corner. There's a little X there. You can exit out of that. And then we're going to let, navigate over to their Tweakbox apps where we're going to scroll down until we find the INDS emulator. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and tap the install button. And when you tap that red button, that red install button, you should see a prompt that should ask you if you want to install or cancel. Go ahead and hit the install button. Awesome, and then navigating back to our home screen, we should see the app go ahead and load. Now, if your app gets stuck for whatever reason, just go ahead and tap on it, and then the app should load perfectly and normally. Now, you may receive an untrusted enterprise developer notification. Make sure that you navigate over into settings, go under general profiles and device management, find the application, and trust the application from there. And then once you launch the app again, well, we can see that the app launches just normally and perfectly too. So the app may contain ads, so just be aware of that. If you need, to, if you do see an ad, go ahead and close out of it on the top right corner. There's a little X there. And then we can go ahead and start searching for our ROMs using the, the magnifying glass, on, again, on the top right corner. Now, it'll automatically bring you to ROMs Mania. I haven't had any sort of issues, problems, or any sort of viruses downloading uh, different ROMs from their site. So just know that when you go to their site, you are getting quality ROMs and that you're not getting any sort of viruses on your device. So once we navigate to the ROM that we want, I'm going to go ahead and download the Super Mario DS ROM. We can click the green download button and then it should send us a prompt saying that your, your ROM is downloading or your game is downloading and it will redirect you back into the application or back into the main page where you can see the progress of the application or of the ROM. And it is pretty fast. Most of these ROMs are about a couple megabytes as you know in, in size, so they're nothing like over a gig. So you can actually store up a, a lot of ROMs here too. Now, we're gonna navigate over to the Dropbox settings as you can see here, and we're going to sync our Dropbox too because I wanna, I wanna show you guys that whole process as well too. So once you get Dropbox onto your device, if you haven't already installed the application through uh, iTunes, I'll leave a link in the description below for this application, you can use this application alongside INDS to back up your save data and to back up your ROMs too. So just like as you see me going through the different prompts here of plugging in my email, plugging in my, my uh, user information in from Dropbox, from INDS, we can see that there is a, a sync that happens between both of them. So again, if you do have any sort of issues with this section of the, the emulator, please leave a comment in the comment section down below email me you're more than welcome to and i'll be able to assist you from there but it is a great tool to have especially if you're trying to save your games or if you need to upload any sort of you know games or roms and the app crashes or revokes unfortunately you can use the dropbox setting and it'll restore everything back to where you once had it so from here, we're going to go ahead and launch the game because it looks like it just finished downloading. And as you can see here, the game runs fine and runs perfectly. So I'm actually going to just make sure that I, this is all recording. And yeah, it actually does record. So if you want to do a live stream or if you want to do, you know, a gameplay with uh, the DS emulator, you can do that as well. So that's also a great feature alongside of this as well, too. Now, again, with this application there, the frame rate the way that the app looks, the, the graphics, everything looks normal, it works perfectly. You can actually even speed up 
the the game itself i'll show you that in a second but i actually want to show off the the cheats for a moment here and with the cheats here we can see that there are uh, a couple of different cheats and cheats will vary by game so for example pokemon will have some different cheats where you can collect it or you can catch any of them mario is going to have a couple of different cheats it looks like you can manipulate the way mario looks or maybe even the speed or uh, you know, the speed that he runs or how Wario or Luigi or Yoshi runs. So it looks like there are a couple of cheats for that. Not too many big cheats there, but for your main big hitters like Pokemon or uh, I would assume even Mega Man Zero you, um, or ZX, I believe it is on DS, there are going to be plenty of cheats for those games. So every, every game will have a cheat section in there. Cheats, again, will vary by game. So as you can see here, the game runs perfectly, even at four times, or I think it's eight times that I have it right there. And everything is perfect. Everything runs great on the game. But if you guys like this little tutorial, this little video, please go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you guys have any issues or problems in downloading the, the app or the any of the ROMs. I'll be more than happy to assist you with that. For all things Apple Plus, I'll be catching you guys on the next one. Peace. Thank you.